Hey, welcome to this short course uh, showing you and demonstrating you my top three plugins for WordPress in 2016. So this course is is going to be short, it's going to be sweet, it's going to be to the point. I just wanted to demonstrate and show you the three plugins that I always use for every one of my websites. And you know I have a lot of you have been following me for a while. Uh, and the reason why I use these three plugins is because they're so essential and they work so well and they basically make my life a hundred times easier and overall it increases my profit because it happens to be very valuable plugin so enroll in the course and I'm going to show you my top three plugins that you need and that are free okay they're free and you definitely uh, need to get them on your website thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video Alright, so the first plugin you need to get if you're running any type of website, it doesn't matter, is Yoast SEO. Uh, and you can get Yoast SEO from uh, wordpress.org slash plugins slash wordpress uh, SEO. But you can just Google Yoast SEO and you'll find it. So it's a free plugin. It does have a, an upgrade to it, right, that you can get if you want. But it's I'm just here to tell you it's not necessary. So the description of the plugin is pretty easy actually. It's It optimizes what you post so as soon as you get for example a new page out it's going to work behind the scenes to optimize the tags, the meta tags, um, the images also of, of your website but it also does more than just work behind the scenes. It, it lets you know when your SEO is a bit messed up. So as you can see it has a lot of positive reviews. Now it's also safe to assume that a lot of these you know, negative reviews are just people who just don't know how to install a damn plugin. I mean, that's just how it is. And it has over a million downloads and installs, actually, not just downloads. Okay. So, you're going to be getting notifications from Yoast uh, right here. So, that's another SEO plugin, but Yoast is going to send you notifications. And they're going basically to let you know what you're doing wrong with the SEO of your website. Now, sometimes it's not totally correct what they say they can say well you know you messed this up but in fact you didn't but you just take a look right as soon as you get a notification go take a look and they have a couple cool things they have a you know let, let us install use this here for you of course that's paid service Yoast basic SEO training Yoast news SEO etc so that's of course advertising but they say you know they categorize in different ways they say improvements so things that are not critical and then problems that you definitely need to address. So improvement, it says implement the following suggestion for the optimization. So apparently we have crawl errors. So I don't happen to care, but you know, if you really want to optimize your website, then you really need to address every improvement. Uh, but I'm going to delete that for now. And then problems are detected in the following issues. This SEO ultimate plugin might cause issues when in conjunction with your SEO. So they do know the competition. They do know that some other, um, you know, that some other plugins could mess things up. So I'm just going to click on deactivate SEO ultimate. And then where is SEO ultimate? It's here. It's been deactivated. So I'm going back to Yoast. This will have disappeared. And then you can get also up and running with a lot of SEO training, tip trips, etc. So you get a, an introductory tour, which you should watch. But the way I use the plugin is I install it, I let it run, and as soon as I get a notification, I go check on, on you know, to see what you know what's happening basically. Um, and then you can have uh, you know you get webmaster tools that you can connect to this plugin, and um, you know, you can, you can, yeah, basically you have also security settings. So Yoast SEO, it's free. If you just install it, let it run, it's going to let you know when you have SEO problems, which if you're trying to rank your website, I'm not, but if you're trying to rank your websites, then you definitely need to know, you know, what might be causing problems. And then of course they have a premium option. I'm not an affiliate. But this is what you get with Yoast SEO Prime uh, Premium. You get a 24/7 support, social previews, redirect man managers, etc. So that's for the first plugin, Yoast SEO free. The second one is also going to be free. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. We'll be um, we'll be taking a look at Pretty Links, which is an amazing.
Okay, second plugin that you all definitely want to get installed, and this one's a bit more useful for me at least. I don't know if it's going to be for you, but you know, and that's Pretty Links Live. So of course you get Pretty Link Lite, uh, Lite, yes, and Pretty Link uh, Premium or Pro, whatever. But I'm again going to start with the Lite version because I just think it's good enough for my intent and purposes. So again, you can find this one on wordpress.org slash plugin slash pretty link. And if you scroll down, uh, then you can see that it's, you know, it's highly ranked. It's also very popular. And what this plugin allows you to do is, you know, create custom links on your website for, you know, that redirect to any, any other website or any other link. And the reason this is so important is, for example, um, on YouTube, if you will ever do YouTube, when you place an annotation, you can only send people to your website. So it needs to be yourwebsite.com slash something. It can't be an affiliate link. So with Pretty Link, what we what you can do is create a link, you know, that goes like yourwebsite.com slash link, and that instantly redirects to an affiliate link and place that as an annotation. So that makes it much easier and makes uh, running YouTube much easier. Also, something that you could be doing is if you are sending people to an affiliate link, you can cloak it with your pretty link link. And then what happens is you can create a retargeting audience for Facebook ads. But again, if you're not a marketer, maybe you're not seeing the use. But once you install the plugin, click on it, pretty link. And then what you can do is create a link simply. So by clicking add a pretty link. Or you can also watch a tutorial video. So re redirection type. Uh, you can either do a temporary redirect or you can do a permanent redirect. Let's try a permanent. Uh, so the link is going to be, let's just put HTTP slash um, Facebook.com. I know, do I know? Okay, Facebook.com. And so the pre-link is going to be the name of your, your domain. So lichacademy.com slash and I could say um, link test one. Again, you can put whatever you want in here. It's going to automatically generate something, but you know, for the, for the purposes of remembering what you're linking to, it's probably better that you do a custom URL. And then title, is go you can call it whatever you want, Facebook uh, target, all right? Good. Now group, uh, you can group your links. That's going to be only for your own reference. So. If you you know you're running a paid advertising campaign and you want to make sure that you remember that all links are under the same category, right? You can create a group, like you know, add group one, for example. And you can also click on no follow this link, but you know that depends on what you want to do. You can track or not track. I don't know why you would not track, so leave it at that. And you can also forward parameters such as, uh, you know, the browser type, etc. So if you click on create, it's going to be right here. And what you can do is just take the link, place it here, enter it, and you instantly get redirected to Facebook. But again, the reason why this is so important and so good is because you can then, for example, add a, tra uh, a retargeting pixel on the website that's going to trigger through that link and then now it should say that I had one click there you go so that's also really a good metric to have it says you know unique clicks and uh, and you know well the the relation of unique clicks compared to the total number of hits so that's for pretty link that's just the you know the base version if you're not if you don't ever need another link again you can delete uh, you can reset the you know the stats there's a lot you can do Okay, so for the last plugin I use, this one isn't free, uh, but it's definitely worth checking out. So this video is going to be really short. I don't want to make it look like I'm pushy or anything. Uh, this isn't an affiliate link either. I'm just seriously recommending this. It's a drag and drop builder for WordPress, and it's called Igloo, right? So it's a it's Igloo app. It launched recently, like perhaps a month ago, and I picked it up. I didn't take up the the upgrade or anything. Um, but you know, it, it looks just too good to be true. So basically what they're saying is that this page, this sales page here was made with Igloo and it looks like it was, 
and it's basically a software that allows you to create pages instantly well you know really fast at least and um, kind of you know it integrates with a lot I mean it looks like it looked to me like the perfect software so that's why I bought it uh, and then once you actually buy it and log in which is here if you click on create uh, you can create a new campaign now, I do already have a campaign it's called LTV, or right, long-term value. If you want to know the truth, and those are all the pages that I've created for this um, this specific website, this specific campaign. And if you want to create a page, you just click on New Page. You get a whole bunch of templates: so opt-in page, landing page, webinar, upsell, affiliate. And let's just take upsell for an example. Um, you can also start from scratch, but you can put a header code, a footer code, so retargeting, for example. And when you click on create without walking you through the entire thing, this is what you're going to be getting. So the, the page loads, of course my internet's a bit slow, but yeah, there you go. And you can change every element. You can drag and drop it, you can include your logo. Uh, I mean, it's just a fantastic. And once, because you might be thinking, eh, that's not a plugin. Once you've created the page, you just head to Igloo here and you can just click on you know select the campaign select the page and then instantly publish it and this is the reason why I think you know everyone needs this plugin and, and Igloo in general is because even if you don't create pages often like sometimes just maybe a, a squeeze page for a new campaign etc or if you want to build an entire website Igloo makes beautiful pages, and we all know that's the most important. The pages you make with Igloo are just fantastic. So that's why I recommend it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out my other courses, and I'll see you next time.